trick to find limiting reactant and excess reactant. I will teach you super easy trick to find limiting reactant and excess reactant in less than a minute. First of all, let me teach you a daily life example. Let's consider paper and money. We know that paper is everywhere, but money is not. I mean, paper is found in excess, but money is limited. So I say, paper is excess reactant and money is limiting reactant. Now the easy trick to find limiting and excess reactant is to follow these two steps. In the first step, we find number of moles. In the second step, we find the simplest ratio. Using these two steps, we can instantly spot limiting reactant and excess reactant. For example, consider this numerical problem. 4 moles of hydrogen gas react with 8 moles of oxygen gas to form H2O. Find limiting reactant and excess reactant. Well, I write the reaction. Hydrogen gas react with oxygen gas to form H2O. Secondly, I balance the reaction. I write here two and two here. It is now balanced chemical reaction. According to the trick, in the first step, we find the number of moles. But here, in the question, we are already given number of moles. The number of moles of hydrogen gas is 4 moles and that of oxygen gas is 8 moles. In the second step, we find simplest tissue between them. To do so, I write the number of moles of hydrogen gas, which is 4 moles, and oxygen gas, which is 8 moles. The stoichiometric coefficient of hydrogen gas is 2. I divide 8 moles of hydrogen gas by 2. The stoichiometric coefficient of oxygen gas is 1. I divide 8 moles by 1. I get a ratio of 2 to 8. The ratio of hydrogen gas is smaller, so hydrogen gas is the limiting reactant and oxygen is the excess reactant. Thus following these two steps, we can easily find the limiting reactant and excess reactant. Now consider the second numerical problem. 24 gram of carbon react with 48 gram of oxygen gas to form carbon dioxide gas. Find limiting reactant and excess reactant. Well, I write carbon plus oxygen gas react together to form carbon dioxide gas. According to the trick, in the first step, I find the number of moles of carbon and oxygen. The given mass of carbon is 24 gram and the molar mass of carbon is 12 gram. After calculation, I get 2 moles. Secondly, the given mass of oxygen is 48 gram and its molar mass is 32 gram. After calculation, I get 1.5 moles. Thus, in the first step, we calculated the number of moles. In the second step, we calculate the simplest ratio between carbon and oxygen gas. The number of moles of carbon is 2 mole and that of oxygen gas is 1.5 mole. To find simplest ratio, I divide number of moles by stoichiometric coefficient. The stoichiometric coefficient of both carbon and oxygen is 1. I get 2 moles and 1.5 moles. Oxygen gas has the simplest ratio, thus oxygen gas is a limiting reactant and carbon is an excess reactant. Now consider this difficult numerical problem. 10 moles of A react with 30 moles of B. Calculate the number of moles of C formed. Well, in the first step, I find number of moles between A and B. The given number of moles of A is 10 and that of B is 30. In the second step, I find simplest ratio of A and B. According to the given reaction, the stoichiometric coefficient of A is 1 and that of B is 2. I get a ratio of 10 to 15. A has the simplest ratio, hence it is a limiting reactant. 
while B is an excess reactant. Secondly, we are asked to find number of moles of C formed. To do so, I use a relationship of limiting reactant and product. The limiting reactant is A and the product is C. According to the reaction, the stoichiometric coefficient of A is 1 and that of C is 4. The number of moles of A is 10 moles, which is completely used to form X moles of C. Now I cross multiply them. I get X is equal to 10 into 4. I get 40 moles. Thus 40 moles of carbon is produced. Therefore, using this easy trick, we can easily find limiting reactant and excess reactant.